2014. Now, these awards are a celebration of the best our industry has to offer and a chance to showcase its amazing work. Even during challenging economic times, PR grew. And that growth is testimony to the value of our industry and it's right that we ought to celebrate it tonight. Now, special thanks are due to our sponsors, and there are quite a few of them, so do bear with me, please. Our headline sponsor, Volcana Group, Atomic Research. Do you need to yourself? That's good. Uh, Atomic Research, Capstone Hill, the Communication Directors Forum. Lots of that. First Point Print, Eco. Marketers for DC, PR Apprenticeships, Precise, PR Newswire, and Foster. And I'd also like to thank all of our judges whose expertise has been vital in this, the largest awards program in the PR Fair's history. And these awards are for the first time bigger than PR Weeks, which I think is a remarkable achievement. Now, as it's Remembrance Day today, we have some representatives of the Royal British Legion here and some envelopes on your table. And I would encourage you to donate if you can. I'm in no mood to stand between PR people and their food and wine, so this will be brief. A few words about the PRCA itself. Last week we celebrated 45 years since the PRCA was founded. And I can report that the PRCA is in rude health, that the PRCA is strong. Back in 1969, we had 12 members. Today, we have 400 agency members, 150 in-house teams, 15 partner universities and thousands of individuals, in all representing 12,000 people. That makes us the largest PR association, not just in the UK, but in the whole of Europe. Now back then we represented only London. Today we have staff in four cities in the UK. We have members from Inverness to the Channel Islands and overseas too. We run ECO, the global umbrella body, for 30 PR associations and 1,800 agencies around the world, helping to position the UK as the global hub of PR excellence. Through our ownership of the PR apprenticeship program and our intern campaign, we are opening up the industry for the very brightest of talent, regardless of background. And of course, we have the strength of will to take on the NLA. Who in there? In the High Court, in the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court, and to beat them in due in the European Court, making law in 29 countries in the process. Each of those achievements has been possible for one reason only, the confidence, the support and the strength of you, our members. Thank you for that support now and in the future. And on that note, best of luck, enjoy the evening. Thank you.